Coach Hope said that. Oh, Coach Hope said that he thought that he need, you guys need to get more pressure. You need to get to the quarterback more. Is it something that you see as an issue as well up front, or do you think that that's maybe being overrated? No, um, I agree with him 100%. Uh, we do need to get more pressure up front, just with a four-man rush. We don't need to be. We don't need to blitz every down and get to the quarterback. Um, me being a senior, me and Craig Rowe take that on us. We need to work on our pass rush more so we can get to the quarterback and put our DBs in better, uh, have a better chance of covering for less time. If you know it, though, why, don't, why isn't it done? So yeah. What's the problem? <laughs> uh, we go out every day, we practice, we have a schedule, we have a script that we have to go through. And at that time, we still have school and everything else going on. So we're going to try to uh, go out every day and work on our pass rush. Will, you've got uh, three games in a row where you've given up 13 points, two of them on the road. What are the parts of this defense that you feel like are coming together that you like at this point? Uh, the biggest part is probably our, practice, our preparation during the week. Uh, we're communicating, we're getting there, watching our film together, we're doing everything together. So we know what's coming and we know what to expect when we get out on our stance. And um, yeah, that's probably, the, uh, that's probably the best part of what's helping us, about, helping us a lot because of the preparation of how, how we've been practicing. What do you say to uh, young teammates, maybe freshmen, that might be peeking past Illinois or listening to students talking about Michigan State? Uh, I say, I'm going to say the exact same thing Coach Hoke tells us every day. Um, every week's a championship week. We can't pass any week on our schedule because every week we're going to um, be playing for a Big Ten championship. And um, we have Illinois next, and that's what we're going to focus on. In the last couple of games, it seems like the linebackers, especially Kenny Demons, has uh, they've been able to flow a little freer, gotten some more opportunities to make plays. How important are you guys up front and your ability to kind of eat up blocks in that in the linebackers' progression? Uh, taking it as far as just right back to practice, um, we've been doing it like we're doing it every day in practice. Uh, get our hands on our man, try to try to be disruptive, have them put more than one man on us, which frees our linebackers up to make big plays. Well, uh, over here, it seemed like Andre Pipkins played a little bit more uh, against Purdue in the past weeks. What have you seen out of him in, in practice uh, in recent weeks? Oh, um, he's getting in shape. I mean, he's been, he has the ability to play every play. He's a great player. Uh, he's coming along, and him getting in shape is helping him out a lot uh, as he can play down and down. Well, you know, in preseason, you talk about the, the weight loss and, and the focus. How do you feel like you personally played through that uh, I mean, I look at it as me playing for the other seniors on this team and me keeping my way down so I can play as well and have the energy to play every snap. How, do you, how would you assess how you play? I mean, it's not my job to assess how I play. I mean, my coaches, said, no, my coaches tell me how I played and what's, what we've been doing on the field shows me how I play. We hear a lot about the offensive line and how they need to be cohesive and they need to it takes time for them to get used to each other and as a group. Is that true of the defensive line too? And are you guys now finding that comfort zone a little bit working together? Uh, yes, I can see that myself. I mean, as far as me, I know, like next to me, I have Quentin Washington and Pee Wee sometimes. I know they're going to get their job done. It's, it's just put something on me, me having to get my job done because I know they're going to do it. I know Craig Rose is a great guy. He knows what's coming all the time, so we listen to him before the snaps. So we have our pre-snap reads, and we just play uh, much better with them doing that. You get bored watching a 17-play scoring drive by your offense, or do you kind of like watching uh, watching them out there that long? Uh, that's the best way to play defense when you're watching your offense play football. Um, you've had some crazy games against Illinois in the past couple of years. Uh, what are you expecting from this one, and what do you what do you expect to see, especially from Shieldhouse? Oh, yeah, Seahawks come back 100%. He's a great quarterback. I mean, he's a great leader. I'm sure they'll come to the big house and play their best game because they're playing Michigan. And every game we play, we're going to get uh, our opponent's best. Do you get on the field uh, a lot in that game two years ago? I didn't hear The 67-65 game, did you get on the field much in that? Uh, for field goals. We, we kicked a lot of field goals after scoring. So, yeah, I got on the field a lot. What do you remember about that game? I mean, I don't think I've ever seen that many points in the game. Uh, I, I probably, that was probably the highest scoring game I've been a part of as well. But um, the thing I remember is celebrating afterwards.